All right, we are grading more of your dynasty trades on Correct. today's video. Right if here. you want your trade to be considered, it's actually super easy. Super Join simple, our Discord super easy. with the link in the description. And all you have to do is go to the Dynasty Trades text channel and submit a trade. Yeah. Um, you'll get some feedback from some of the community, and then we consider every trade that's sent there for our weekly video. So for this first trade, shout out to Trippy Trout. You can see the trade on the screen now. A little bit of context here. This is a 12-team Superflex PPR league, but it's also a tight end premium league. And the premium is 0.75 points, meaning the tight end scores 1.75 points per reception, okay? Mm -hmm. Whereas everyone else is just one point per reception. You can see this the trade, obviously, Justin Fields and J.K. Dobbins for Team A. Team B, we've got Daniel Jones and Kyle Pitts. So let's talk about it. Who won the trade? Oh, this is tough because I really don't like, I really don't like either to be, I like, so excuse me, I like both, but I really don't like what I'm really, what I'm about to say because I had to come to my senses. When I first looked at this and Zach was like, oh, maybe we should do this one. I was like, oh, Justin Fields, JK Dobbins. And then he goes, well, the premium is 1.7. I was like, damn, that's mm. tough. That's a tough yeah. move to make. And that's tough to give up Kyle Pitts. 21 years old, the guy that everyone believes is going to be this guy. I mean, I believe it. It's just, do I want to give up Justin Fields and J.K. Dobbins for Kyle Pitts, essentially? That's what it's, that's what it's for. Daniel Jones means nothing to me. I wow, always... I'm a Giants fan. Yeah, and and exactly. That's coming from a Giants you mean, fan. You mean nothing to me. You mean, <laughs> look, I've always said this. I would rather in... Even in trades, I would rather have a low-end tight end, a Schultz, a Goddard, a Knox, and in Joku now, you know, a Cole Komet, one of these guys, even in a tight end premium league, than spending a first or second round pick or sending my whole roster for Kyle Pitts. Right. But I think in this trade, with the 1.75 premium, I think it's what you gave up. Well, Kyle Pitts, the owner of Kyle Pitts, just you solidified that room in a tight end premium league that he should should be the only guy there. I mean, at the moment, he is. You know, the expectation to get Garrett Wilson. So for me, Team B did win this win this trade. I don't like it. Once again, any other day, I would say you go with the lower end tight end. I'll say, you know what? Let's try to do something else. You know. Okay. Let, let me try to. Get I was somebody trying under. to find. I was trying to finally find a trade that you would disagree with me on, but I, I'm like, all right, here we I go. Mean, I'm on the same page. If I said Justin Fields and with the premium, that's just dumb. As much as I believe in Justin Fields and J.K. Dobbins, I don't think it's dumb. I think this is a very even trade, even with the premium. I think. Um, I think with the premium, it's, it's too much of a premium to give up. Kyle Pitts. Okay. This is probably the. Yeah, it's too much of a premium. I mean, you're getting Justin Fields. We both view him as a top 12 dynasty quarterback. Agreed. We think he has top five upside. You're getting J.K. Dobbins, who we both think that he could be a top 10 running back for multiple years. Yeah. So I don't think that this is like a terrible trade by any means. I don't I don't think that's the case I don't at think all. it's but terrible. The tight, end, the tight end premium is definitely something that we should discuss. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, I am going Team B. I was hoping Badaki was going to go Team A, so we finally disagree, but I guess we're going to be on the same page. Um, <laughs> let's talk about... Uh, Kyle Pitts, there's there's truly only a few untouchable players in Dynasty for me, okay? Meaning 99.9% .9 of the trades that I receive, mm -hmm. I'm going to decline for these guys. That's Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes, Jamar Chase, Kyle Pitts. Uh, outside of that, everyone's up for sale. Yeah, send me, send me a trade, okay? Um, but the tight end premium advantage is huge. So this league is a tight end premium, like, like we said, 1.75 points per reception, so let's look at Kyle Pitts last year. What would he mean with that advantage? So he had 68 receptions last year on 110 targets. So in this format, there are actually 51 more points added to his season total, meaning he would have finished, if we compare him to the wide receivers, he would have finished right below Hollywood Brown in points, wide receiver 22, okay? And I think if we just stop there, this trade's not worth it. However... This isn't where we stop because we all believe that Kyle Pitts can be the tight end one. Correct? Yeah, correct. We're all, all, all on the same page. He on has that upside. Page. We need to project him <laughs> in the future as having that sort of upside. So, for example, if Pitts doesn't finish as a tight end one in his career, if he never does that, we would all be extremely disappointed, right? Yes, I would. I mean, I would, I would be extremely disappointed if there's no tight end one finish in his career. 
So with that being in mind, what would it have meant in the next couple of years if he is going to be your tight end one? Well, Mark Andrews was a tight end one this year. So let's look at what his advantage was in this league. He had 107 receptions on 153 targets. So in this format, there's actually 80.25, 80.25 more points added to his season total. Meaning that in this format, he would have finished as a wide receiver too, right behind Cooper Cup. Mm -hmm. All right. So he would have been more valuable than Devontae Adams, Debo, Justin Jefferson, you name it. Outside of Cooper Cup, he was more valuable than that player. That is a huge advantage for you. So if this is the upside of a Kyle Pitts and he's 21 years old, he's a unicorn, then he should be absolutely untouchable in this league. And the unfortunate thing is no trade calculator is going to account for that type of advantage. A unicorn who is 21 years old who has multiple top tight end one i mean finishes in his in his future no trade calculator calculator is really going to account for that and you know just on kyle pitts i've said this before but he really had such a special rookie season he really did in the 100 plus seasons of the nfl only one tight end had more receiving yards as a rookie and that was mike ditka um, 50 more receiving yards he was super efficient as a rookie, first in yards per reception, third in yards per target, fifth in yards per route run. Um, and when you look at tight ends, they typically aren't this successful this young, okay? Right. When did the rest of the elite tight ends have the first 1,000-yard season? Well, Mark Andrews was 26 when he had his. Kelsey was 27. Waller, 27. Ertz, 28. I mean, if you have Kyle Pitts, you're really sitting on a goal mine, especially in a tight end premium league. I mean, Cooper Cup's year was stratospherically different to anyone else. And that's not going to happen every year. So you could potentially have the highest scoring non-quarterback for multiple years here. And I think that's why it's so important to look at the tight end premium. So for me, it's a huge win for Team B. I love Justin Fields. I love J.K. Dobbins. But... um. I am going Team B here. I gave Team B an A plus. I gave Team A a C plus. So I just I just don't think that in this scoring format, moving Kyle Pitts is the right answer. When you can when you consider like wow that is his upside. He could actually be multiple years in a row the most valuable non quarterback in the league. So yeah, makes sense for me. Team A got a. Uh, Ooh, excuse me, B minus and team B got a, a minus. So it, it's just, okay. Once again, the premium is just too much for me to just say, you know what, as much as I'd rather get a lower and tight end, <laughs> it's just too much to not agree with that. Okay. All right. Uh, team two or trade two, excuse me, is shout out to Yerp. This is Yerp. your trade Yerp. It's a 12 team super flex league. Team a has Deshaun Watson. Team B has a one Oh one and the 103. You know, this is a simple trade, but I believe there's a really intriguing conversation here to be had. I know yeah. it's simple, but I think this is a really good conversation because in our Discord, most people actually voted for the B side. There was a majority of people when this trade was submitted who voted for B for the 101 and the 103. So I prefer Team A, but where, where do you stand on this? You know, this is probably truly the most even trade I would have to say, because let's, let's look at it. You know, team B is going to have Brees Hall. Let's look, let's look at the trade like this Brees Hall. And, you know, you can either say Garrett Wilson, you can say Malik Willis is really depending, but let's just say Garrett Wilson. Cause Malik usually goes one Oh two Garrett Wilson, one Oh three. So you can have Brees Hall and then Garrett Wilson for Deshaun Watson. It's, it's the life, you know, like, these are young, fresh legs that Sean Watson hasn't played in a year who's going to come in with now the new allegations, not not even new. The, the, these 22 cases aren't going to move forward this year, which means it doesn't look like he's probably, at least I, the thought process is that he's not going to get suspended for eight games. I could be completely wrong. Let's just mm -hmm. keep that in mind. But if he doesn't get suspended for eight games, Deshaun Watson has a whole season to play, and then Team B gets... Brees Hall and Garrett Wilson. Maybe it's a young team. Maybe it's a rebuild team. I truly believe this is a win-win for both teams. It's really hard to say. One thing I would like to see for Team B, though, I would love to see their quarterbacks. I need mm. to see their quarterbacks because 
that would really make or break this team because he, if you could trade away Deshaun Watson and you had a Ryan Tannehill and maybe a, a lower end court or a, you know, mid tier quarterback like a Mac Jones, I'm concerned. Yeah. Maybe you shouldn't have done that. You should have kept, you should have kept um, Deshaun Watson and try to move some other pieces to get, yeah, you know, to get another quarterback. But that's the thought process. I truly, truly believe this is an even trade based on how I project. You're getting my RB one in this class and my wide receiver one in this class. I get it's a super flex league and uh, quarterbacks are extremely important, but the only way I can truly justify who truly, truly won this, if I seen teams be quarterbacks and we just don't have that. So that's why I believe it's a, it's a truly even trade. Yeah. Context is always really important there. Mm -hmm. Um, I am team a, are you saying your team B side then? I would, let's say I'm team pick B, a side, so, man. So Have different. some conviction. It's, it's 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 truly even, but I would Jeez. say I would say team, I would say team B, because I'm okay. believing that he has good quarterbacks. All right. Well, we don't know that, we so I, I have to grade it based off of not having that information. You know, mm -hmm. um, I am team A. Number one, I mean, what are the odds that you really get a dynasty asset more valuable than Watson with those picks? Yeah. We have said it before. You don't always hit. On dynasty picks, the success rate is somewhere around sixty percent um, with these rookie picks. So, Garrett Wilson, I mean, what if he's what if he's just a yeah yeah a I wide receiver three? You I know, like it. what if he's not a wide receiver one? Like a lot of people are saying that he could be. Um, is Brees Hall going to be a stud? Of course, but he's not worth more than Watson right now. If you gave me a, a trade and you said I'll give you Brees Hall for Deshaun Watson, give me Deshaun Watson every every day of the week, okay? How about the 103? Like you said, I mean, who knows what you really get there? There is a you're you're you need to hit on those picks, but Correct. in superflex, you're giving up a a known commodity. Deshaun Watson's value in Dynasty cannot be understated. The only reason I've been worried about him is because of the legal issues. I've never been worried about him as as a dynasty asset. Mm -hmm. He we're talking about a guy who's finished top five multiple multiple seasons. In 2018, he was a quarterback four. In 2019, the quarterback five. In 2020, the quarterback five. By the way, with Will Fuller as his wide receiver one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In those three seasons alone, he completed almost 67% of his passes, 100 total touchdowns in three seasons alone. He is 26 years old. So you're telling me I could potentially have a decade of top five quarterback play of course, I'm going to take that in a super flex league. Mm. Um, he's proven it year after year. I, I don't want the risk. I don't want the pressure of hitting on that. Like the 101, we think Brees is going to be good. How good? Hard to say. Some people think he's going to be a top five running back. I mean, I think top 12 is safe. At some point, he will finish top 12. I don't know that he's 100% going to finish as a, as a top three guy. Yeah. Um, but if you can give me the the what I know about Deshaun Watson, then yes, give me Watson. I don't want the pressure of missing on those picks, especially in a super flex league. Um, and let's let's look at it from this perspective, okay? Currently, Deshaun Watson, if we're talking startups, if you were to do a startup today, a super flex startup, Deshaun Watson is a top four to seven pick, okay? So he's a 104 to the 107 in a startup. You can't get him any later than that. The, the pure volume of assets that you would have to give up in a startup to get inside that top four, that top seven, is insane. I mean, it's to the point where you just can't leverage your team like that. Whereas here, we are only giving up the rookie 101 and 103 for Deshaun Watson. I mean, currently, the first and third rookie in our startups, they're going in round three and five. So let's think about this. You're telling me that in a startup, I can potentially get the 104, the 105, and all I have to give you is a third round pick and a fifth round pick. I mean, I personally would do that every single day. Yeah. Right. I mean, if we look at it from that value, it's a little bit easier to to say Deshaun Watson. So I just wanted to bring that perspective. Okay. Um, if if you're in a pre-draft league, let me ask you the question. Are are you willing to move the 104 for a third and fifth round pick? Because I personally would not be willing to do that. Um, there, I, obviously, context is important here, but if we're just looking at it from a value-wise, um, and to be clear, I, I do love Brees Hall. I really think he's going to be successful, and I do like this wide receiver class, but I am siding with Deshaun Watson. There's just too much certainty for me to not 
uh, side with the Deshaun Watson side. So if we're giving out team grades, Deshaun Watson, the team A side, I'm giving an A minus. Team B, I'm giving a B minus. So for team A, since I had to pick a side, I'm giving team A a B. I mean, team A a B and then team B a B plus just so I have him on the winning side. Um, let me ask you a question, really quick hypothetical. What if that 103 was George Pickens to Kansas City? Would you still would you would that make it more enticing because that's your team and your guy? Or no. you would still, still going to Sean Watson. Okay, that's fine. I just wanted to know. Just wanted to know. Yeah. Um Yeah. And by the way, that that scenario, like while I really want it to happen, there's also 32 other teams. <laughs> you know, I, absolutely, like, absolutely. I know. It was just hypothetical. I just wanted to know, know if like if even if your guy went to your team. Would you even consider it? But if you're saying no, no, then that's okay. No, I don't think so. Because, again, as much as I love George Pickens, there's still more security in a super flex league in Deshaun Watson. So, yeah, context is important, but I don't I don't have the context of the teams. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah. Uh, let us know. Let us know in the comments down below. Where do you sit on these trades? Uh, there's always a there's always sides. People are like, yeah, I agree, or no, this is so dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, so wherever you wherever you side, you can feel free to comment down below. Yo, what's good? What Thanks up? for watching. We got a lot more videos. A lot more. If you want more videos, watch now, it. You can also subscribe right now if you want to. You need to. And lastly, don't forget that you can sign up to support the show mm-hmm. and get exclusive content by going to patreon.com forward slash fantasyland fam.